back with some more ulti laddering we got this uh, chest specs Kieran team made by ricardo so shout outs to him and yeah this guy has the team that is aim uses to get top 10 if i recall correctly and yeah i'll just lead up with my scarf lando i'm not gonna start the time my internet is really bad at the moment i just lost the game to disconnection um i won two games off screen to get the points back that i lost because in the other episode i also lost the game to disconnection um, this is Scarf Lottie, but it can't Oko me anyway, so this is a pretty free U-turn here. And yeah, I feel like I have a good, pretty good matchup in this. Because I have uh, Chacha Toxapex. Which walls is out why I can't get trapped by Dagi thanks to the Shed Shell. So I can go to Cure me and click Ice Beam, I feel. Um, yeah, that's, I, think, I think that's a good play. Just Chacha Pax Ice Beam. It's like triple defog. Unless he changed the team. So this doesn't even bring him to the sturdy, which is surprising. But now he knows I'm specs. Um he can potentially go on the top of Fini here. I kinda wanna predict him to go on top of Fini and double into my Coco here. Do I have a reason to make that play? Yeah, I I wanna make that play. You should know I'm specs from that damage and go on the top of Fini. He does just do that, and now I just kind of want to go for Z-move. But I'll just go for U-turn. Yeah, here's a tank growth, what am I saying? That was, that was a pretty obvious tank with I had the U-turn there. And yeah, now I'll just get my Kieran back in. Actually, do I? Another play I can make is going to Scizor. U-turn uh, out, get my Mega. Yeah, you guys can see this team has like three U-turn Pokemon just to bring in the specs gear. Okay, okay, now I'm just gonna um yeah, that's no point in turning around the entire game. I'm just gonna attack. Just gonna get chip off in this type of Fini if he goes to that again this time. Like, there's no point in keep if I keep doubling, I don't get much. So that's nice damage and. <laughs> He's probably gonna just not madness on Moonblast here, so I go to Toxapex, but it's a bit annoying because we don't have Black Sludge, so we don't have passive recovery here. I'm gonna assume that he's um, gonna go for the taunt here. He's either gonna taunt here or. Yeah, I think Tapu Koko is a good play here. He's just hardened the duck here, which I don't agree with. But this shouldn't be Scarf unless he changed the team, so I can just U-turn out. And we can just go on to... Hmm. here in case he has rocks. So we can defog. As he goes hard for Z-move. Okay, this guy's bad. What the fuck? That only crits me. Calm the fuck on, dude. This game is so annoying. Um, I think I should live in regular Earthquake. And we do live because we have a lot of defense. I don't agree with this play off quicking there, and I don't agree with Z moving. Like, what the fuck? I have a Landris, dude. Do you not know what this is my problem? But this is why I should have gotten more points. And yeah, now I just keep. Do I need this healthy? I don't think I need this healthy, so I'll just U turn here. Because I just had a feeling that he would switch. I thought he would go to Zard. But yeah, Tapu Fini is a... definitely annoying for this team, so I like my play. And I'll just Z move. Actually, no, no, no. I'll just keep you turning. Yeah, yeah. I'll just keep you turning. Mm. No, no point in attacking when he has a Tangros. He, he just stays in. Yeah, see, I had a feeling that he would stay in. But I don't lose too much. So, this time I'm going to attempt to recover because. Um, yeah, but this guy just doesn't know what the fuck he's doing because. Oh, he also changed this to leftovers. This was. um. This was um, a jack button, if I recall correctly. Yeah, I don't know why he went hard doggy all on my packs. Like, that's not a good play. Um, so he can either Nature's Madness or Moonblast. I'll try to get a burn on him. As he miss as he dodge. Uh, we dodge, that sucks for him, is what I meant to say. We do get a burn, so this guy is uh, getting hexed by us. Um, shut the fuck up, you're bad. <laughs> 
I'm rude now because I'm just I'm just really annoyed by the fact that okay now we just sex his dog. We have Shachel anyway, but I don't know what he's, what he's doing. Like we hacked him a bit, but like he his plays make no sense. So like, <laughs> learn the game before you complain. Okay, so this could be trick. I think it's scarf trick actually. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think Coco is my best player here. Uh, should be able to live any hint. And if he goes for trick, I look like a god because I have a Z move. And I can just go for U-turn. I don't lose anything by U-turning here. Ah, okay, he goes Skarmory. So now I get to bring my Specs Kyurem. And he forfeits. So goodbye. And I think we should be... Yeah, I was like mid-1300s, but then I lost the game to DGC. I really hope we can play this entire life without this thing again. I was actually planning to do like a super long life, but... Then my net decided to be headers again or like bad. Early on the day. My fast net just decided to die, so I have to rely on my slow net. And yeah. Not I thought I was out of the super low ladder, like where the people use mono shiny shit. Like it's not mono shiny, but like two shinies. <laughs> yeah, I'm in a different room, it's like not that comfortable here. Cause like I only have this baby table, it was like really annoying to get my microphone um to work here. So here's the download, not the trace. These carry ice beam a lot, so we're obviously gonna huge it out. Hmm. There's pretty much a free toxic pack on Mew. Now I don't wanna go Mew in case he has toxic. If he has T bolt it's a bit dangerous, but we shall see. Yeah, he's ice beaming turn one, which is obvious. Um if he has T bolt I can eat it up anyway because I'm uh Really spit def. And T-Specs puts in a lot of work with him, so I'll just get him up. Of course, Hot Gold Scar. I was thinking about Scalding, but it's, um, yeah, in case he wants to do that, so I can get a burn potentially, but it's fine. So, Silva should be my play here. He might get up his rocks. And these SD, this is actually a threat. Um, yeah, I'll just U-turn out here. This is, by the way, a 29 speed IV, so we get the slower U-turn versus opposing Scizor. It was Trevenant, so Kyurem should pretty much get a kill here with Ice Beam. Okay, not a kill, but like the T Specs just helps me. The, the T Specs, yeah, pretty much helps me so that Porygon can't wall me. Okay, we'll just click Ice Beam. He has like no switch ins, no resists. If he's like really spit death or like bulky Porygon, he might be able to take this, but T Spec will be so annoying for him, like I said. And what is his play even here? If he has Dazzling Beam Specs Coco, he could go to that. If he's Zardwa, he could go to that and Focus Blast or something like that, or Fire Blast. But I just have packs to Wall Zardwai. This matchup looks oh Yeah, this, this looks like a good matchup. So yeah, we're gonna try to like get to 1500s this episode. Um, yeah, like I said in my last, I'm probably not gonna, in my last video, I'm probably not gonna make an uh, ulti qualifying thing. The ladder's at like 2000, almost 100 at the moment, it's like 2080 or something, the first people, was it 2060? So when the super high, like the lowest out of like 8 people qualify each cycle, and the lowest at the moment, I'll just go back here, the lowest out of all these people at the moment is like 2030, which is crazy. So yeah, is that why we wall him unless he's some insane belly drum set, and hopefully no burn, nice, 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 and Hmm. I kind of want to double here, but I don't really have a reason to make any plays like that. I can just go for recover because I thought he might go for soul beam. Okay, that's fine. I just keep making the scissor play. Um. Yeah, I don't know why he keeps making the same knockoff play. Does he not have earthquake to at least get more chip damage on my scissor? So we just keep U-turning so we get momentum. We can potentially get a cure man if he goes into like. Actually, I don't really have... Yeah, exactly, if he just stays in, I get my Kyurem. Like, other than that, I didn't really have that much that I wanted the Kyurem to bring in on. But it's fine. It's HP Iceless. This is to help with the stall matchup. This Mew is Earthquake to help with uh, McGuinness and Heatrans. Uh, uh, what else? Yeah, I'll just go Kyurem and click Ice Beam. Like, what can he even do about this? He has nothing. And I don't have a reason to click drag and potentially miss or give him a free switch into Coco. 
It was probably going to stun, but they will get blown away because we got the young Toxic Spike. So yeah, he's going to be forced to recover here. Mm, there's probably no point in staying in. I don't do enough damage. So what I'll do here is go scissor on the recover and then I'll get done into my packs. That way I scout for a potential coverage move. Um, actually, I don't know. Not that they don't carry HP fire. Yeah, I guess that wasn't, that wasn't the best series of play, though my proper it's fine. Yeah, yes, Shadow Ball, okay. So that does nothing. That does absolutely nothing. So he's probably gonna go Gliscor, but like I don't really see a problem with just clicking Scald. So he's trying to hang me, okay, that's interesting. I like that's fine. Um Maybe I should have just kept spamming Ice Beam in my Q. What I can do here is just go on my Coco and click the Z move, so... I wanna just blow this Porygon away, I've had enough. <laughs> I'm not trying to be here like for 5 years, sit here for 5 years. I don't think he's gonna scout for this. He's probably just gonna click Recover. I can also just click Taunt. Yeah, I think Taunt is a better play. Taunt is a better play in case he tries to Recover and in case he tries to go Gliscor. So we're gonna make the Taunt play here. I'm pretty sure he's not gonna attack this turn. Oh, he attacks, wow. And he crits me. Okay, that sucks. So now he might not stay in, but I'm gonna U-turn. Because now I think he might go Gliscor, exactly. So I should've just gone for this demo the last turn. Oh, I could've gone for the Roost if I was predicting the Gliscor there. But yeah, now we just get to bring this in again. And then now this Porygon is in 2k range, so that was a bit unnecessary. Um, like... Not unnecessary, but I kind of feel like I wasted a bit of time there. Like, I could have just spammed Ice Beam potentially with Kyurem and Fish for the freeze. Uh, not for the freeze, for the crit. Slash thought of his recovers. But he goes hard Coco, this is gonna get take like 80 or some shit. Uh, head Calc? Okay, it just dies. What the fuck? This Timid. Um, So you can potentially outspeed um, Offensive Landers. Offensive Landers is a big threat. Um, How much speed, base speed is Kyurem again? I don't really remember. I think it's faster than that, no, but it's really embarrassing that I don't remember. And I can't really look it up because my internet is slow, like I said, so if I open the team build, it's like laggy as shit. So I'm gonna try to avoid lag, and yeah, we'll just recover here. I assume this guy's gonna forfeit everything. Like, he doesn't really have a win count. If he plays this out, like, it makes it a bit unnecessary longer. Um, yeah, if my net doesn't die, I'll make this a longer episode. If my net just decides to die again, I'll end it. <laughs> but you guys will see from the video length. I hope we can get, like, a... Nice and 50 minute. Nice and 50 minute upload. Okay, I'll just roost here to keep this healthy. And then I'll just get the slow U turn and bring my Kyurem back in. Yeah, that's amazing. But yeah, I played like two games off screen. One game. Um, like, I know I'm on the low ladder, but one game was funny as fuck where I flexed on the low ladder guy. Like, <laughs> I just kept. I U turned twice on his camera and sells Dila. And then I just clicked off quick and he stayed in with camera. I predicted that. Hmm. So I might leave a link to the Reaper in the description, even though I know it doesn't really matter because it's low ladder. Um, I just go lander here and you turn into my toxic packs. And if he goes um, Glisco, I got momentum into my Cure. And if he stays and I go into my toxic packs, is what I meant to say. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. So like, I don't have to risk anything. This lander does not make the text. It's like a really interesting spread that has some bulk to check um, who he's life up. It's to check, I think, Zygarde. Um, like, I know the Muse is the main check for Zygarde, but in some Zygarde are sub. You can't check all the range of Zygarde. But yeah, basically, Ricardo explains everything. I might leave a link to the, his video in the description where he talks about his team. Might as well give credit to him if I, if I use his team. Because um, it's really hard for me to build, like, at the moment. It's really cool. Like, I got a lot of new teams today, I'm just really, let me try to show you guys, I hope my computer doesn't die from lag. Yeah, I stole two or three teams from Blunder's video. Not, not steal, I just took them, I don't know if I should call it still. Then I got two teams from my buddy Vatron. Um, what else, I got a team f from NJMP's Peace Chat. I got some Sorry Veil, I got a lot of teams here, like, 
we got we got something to go like I might try in the next cycles to go like a bit more in like at least try to get to the higher part of the ladder um, but yeah just like no point in not recovering and now we can scald get some chip damage and yeah I guess I might start a timer now or I will start the timer is what I meant this takes unnecessary long but I can't I don't think I want to get two games at once because like I said man it is really trash at the moment like I have two Wi-Fi's in my house and one Wi-Fi like once a week or sometimes it's only once a month I think it hasn't died in two or three weeks but sometimes it just decides to die so we're gonna just call here the sun is gone so he can't do any damage to us the best he can do is try to burn us if he goes uh, Porygon that's just chip damage so he's forced to heal I should have gotten two T spikes before this came in if I had the chance to. That was a misplay by uh, on my part, but I'll just go. Um, I don't need Coco for anything other than this, so I'll go Coco here. Break in the recover, and now I'll just go for the Z move. If he stays in, I think it has a chance to kill. Actually, he might recover again, but I think this this, this should kill him, right? Yeah, it does kill him. So nice, we get rid of it finally. <laughs> I was fearing that this would go like this would take like five more minutes for no reason. Yeah, I don't need Kogo, but we can still keep it to kill the Zard. Because if I um, play it defensively and like stall out Zard with packs, it might take too long. So keeping Kogo um, still has like some purpose. Okay, we'll just get the slow U turn again. If he goes Zard, we get a kill with. Uh, not a kill, but we can get to click a wild charge with Coco. Like if he goes Glisco, that's fine because we don't take the recall. If he stays in, his heart dies. Um, but yeah, now I just go Kyurem and get a kill with Ice Beam, and GG. And Kyurem is already putting in work, which this is basically what I was hoping for. I just like the concept of this team. And Magnezone is not really that good at uh, slash common at the moment, so like this is pretty nice. Uh, it helps deal with Aurora. Aurora is really common with Ninetales at the moment. Uh, what else does it help with? It helps with type of blue loop. Yeah, there's no point. Like I could save the 6-0, but I'll just stay in and we eat it up. And we get a crit, which probably mattered, but it didn't matter for the outcome of the game. So we're 13-40 now. Yeah, I was 13.30 earlier, but then I lost one to DC, so now we won two again with 13.40. So my win loss is probably complete dog ass. So let me do high room again. And uh, they have fun to my man. So I'm just glad that we didn't uh, disconnect yet. So yeah, I'll just like to lead up with Scout Lander. Yeah, I don't know if I um, finished my thing. I was talking about this Lander set. It has some bulk, so I can uh, switch into Zygarde. If Mew gets is, if Mew gets worn down, like if Mew got worn down, or if you want to have to scout for the if the Zygarde has a sub, and you're not gonna want to risk, you don't want to risk to whisk and give it a free sub, then you can switch this. And if it's full, and you can avoid a two kill, I think even from Bandit, which this is like a Medibronic spread. That's what that's what Ricardo said. So yeah, um, that's pretty much a bad lead. This is gonna be. I'm just gonna U-turn to get momentum. I should do it. No, no, I just HP ice here, that's fine. Yeah, yeah, just HP ice because I, th I th think he's gonna stay in exactly. So if he just gets up his rocks, then he's uh, forced to switch. Like, if he has a brain, he's gonna go Celestila slash Chansey here. Um, probably Celestila. So what I can do here is go into my... Actually, so that's gonna... That's a bit bad. If I had Defog on Mew, I would go Mew here. But... Um, Mew is still a good play. Yeah, Mew is still a good play. If he goes for a U-turn here, that's a good play on his part. But he goes Chansey. Yeah, I was thinking either Chansey or uh, Sila. I don't want to let my Mew get poisoned, so I'm going to Scissor here. So, and then I'll attempt, to, I'll attempt to defog. I think this is toxic. Yeah, yeah, I just know how this works. And don't can Mega to get extra bulk, which can help check a lot of Pony and we defog. And even though that Mew is pretty much the main answer for Lob, and I don't know why he made this specific play, but... We can do his bull punch here, get some chip. Or oh, we can roost too. He might be Rocky Helmet, so I think. 
Like, this is really defensive, so yeah, he's helmet. So, like, I'm easily gonna be able to take off Quakes for days. So, I can just defog here. Like, this is not Z move, obviously, because we saw that thing. The Rocky helmet. Uh, I'm not really a big fan of Rocky helmet land, I think Lefty is better at the moment. Um, now we can just go packs. And the T spike is gonna be really nice. To, um, try and get some chip on the. Chansey on the Coco on the Zygarde. Okay, goes hard land, that sucks a lot because now he's gonna be able to get his rocks back up. But we know that he's defensive, so Earthquake can't kill me. This is probably a bad play, but I'll just stay in and scold. I know he's gonna get up his rocks, he's like he's not gonna Earthquake. Uh, yeah, exactly. Because he wants to force me to defog, so the T spag is gone on his side. That's basically why I knew that he wouldn't Earthquake there. And even if he earthquake, I'm pretty sure I eat it up because he's defensive. Okay, this Coco is one of the biggest, uh, like, annoying nuisance, big nuisance to this team. It's really annoying. Um, yeah, I don't have good switches. My best check is, like, Scarf Lando and, like, Kyurem being in is nice, but Kyurem isn't in. And I don't really want to switch it in because I don't know his set, so. My own Coco is nice versus the Chansey. Mamma is really nice. Uh, what do I not need this matchup? Everything is nice. But I think I'd throw my Kyurman. Because if he's um, non Dazzling Gleam, but Dazzling Gleam is not that common, so I might be able to just check him. And if he uses it, it's completely fine. Like, I get, my I get information. I can count now if he's max attack. Uh, let's say Kyurem. Kyurem Black Custom Set. Uh, let's drop a Coco. So if he has no attack, so we know that he's probably special because if he's um, the max attack set, he would have done more than 15. And yeah, now we just go in the Mew. And yeah, we already got the, the poison on the Lob Honey, which is nice. Now we get chip damage. If he had Facade, it would have been a bit scary potentially. Um, I want to get my rocks up, kinda, but I also want to default for Kyurem. No, no, I think I will just play this game with High Jump Quick Death 23 in my Mew. Let me just uh, calc if I can if I'm in 2 8 range from return. I don't want to misplay <laughs> and look like a fool on this young recording 32. So it's a roll. So I just play it safe and roost. I have no reason to risk anything because this Mew is off quick, which means it still can also help check the top of Coco. And we also got the, the poison on the Coco and on the Lopony already, so this is really amazing. So I actually might defog soon, and so it might be better to not set up my rocks now if I want to defog soon. So yeah, I make the correct play, because I risk the potential to it KO if I didn't heal, and now I can go for my rocks. Um, but I think... Yeah, I think just rocks is fine. For now, rocks is fine. I might defog soon, because rocks are annoying for me. But for now... I didn't know what he was going to, cause, like I could have whisked there, but if he went to something grounded, like these three months, there was no point in whisping because they got poisoned anyway. Um, but yeah, now I can whisk the Celestia, which will be nice to cancel out the leftovers recovery. I just hope my net doesn't die, man, I'm always scared that it dies. And we do miss, which sucks a lot, a lot, a lot. Um... So we do know he's special Coco. Do we, if we move you as either the Coco or the... Yeah, okay, now he's annoying. He gets for protect really nice. If we move you as either the Coco or the Zygarde, I think. This should be like just... Bulky because he showed that he had a uh, protect leech seed. Yeah, this is really annoying that I missed this wisp. Um... So if I throw my Kyurman again, it's pretty much like fodder, kinda. But I still think it's the play to make. She will probably choose KOs me, but he's what the fuck? I can't that he's that he's special. Why is he physical? He did 15, didn't he? He did 15, so I don't know what is going on. Yeah, like I could have gone Landris, but there's no point. So 
So I just go Landos and Yuta in here. I don't really see what I lose from doing that. I just don't want the Cell Stealer to come in for free. And yeah, chip damage on this. It's just nice if he stays in. Like I just I just go scissor here if he stays in. Because he's either gonna HP us or U-turn if, if he stays in. Um did I reveal that I'm scarf? I think it was kinda obvious that I'm scarf. But yeah, now I get to bring in my my Mew slash my actually no nah, Mew it doesn't have ice beam. Um this is actually a threat. So because we don't have an ice move on this I kinda yeah, I think Coco is just a good play. We can just U-turn. Because if he just stays in, we can uh, go on the ladders, get off in another... Get off an Intimidate. Not another Intimidate, just an Intimidate. And yeah, he stays in. We just... I can also go Scissor. So he's Dragon Dance. If he's Jolly, he outspeeds me. Yeah, he might go for Dragon him here if he's jolly, this was probably a misplay on my part. Kind of getting impatient because this takes away a bit too long. I hate this that this guy dodged my Wisp. But he's not max speed for some reason. And this is not going to kill me. And Okay, that's nice, so we get to keep our Landorus. So, like, we just basically just win with off quick spam if we get rid of Cell Steel now. Mm-mm-mm. Unless he has quick attack on Lob Bunny, and obviously not gonna let us in on the fake out. She fake out doesn't kill me, I don't think so. But if I come in on Rex again, I'm pretty sure fake out kills. Like at 29, I think it might not kill me. Um, he's either gonna fake out or ice punch here. Yeah, I'm just gonna throw in my packs. Like this has some fist death to packs. So yeah, we eat that up, and we can just click recover here. Um, actually, I kind of want to click Scald, because if he goes Hard Coco, that's completely fine. If he goes Hard Coco, like, he still takes rocks plus Poison. Yeah, so there's no point in not recovering, and we also should be able to take a hit from Coco from full. Maybe not a, maybe not a Z Wild Charge, but a regular Wild Charge, maybe. So yeah, now we can try to burn his Celestia. Because, like, all he dodged my Wisp, so he disconnected our... I hope that he just doesn't come back. If he comes back, my bad net dies. Uh, it sucks, but yeah, I'll grab another one. Yeah, I also wanted to record with the... Um, but the team that Pokium used the other day, right? That, um, like, two or three... A few days ago, the team that, um... I think AVR and... Someone else from US East made it. The one with um, T Spikes, Greninja, DD Sub, Zygarde. But yeah, I wanted to record with that one day before Pokemon did, but then the next day Pokemon did it. And I was like, nah, 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 now everyone knows this team already. Then I think that's not shit of this video. Because I already had the team before that. It was, it was it's really interesting. It's like spammed on the ladder too. Yeah, we'll just lead Scarf Land. You guys, <laughs> if you guys watch my video videos, you know I like to just lead off with Scarf. I mean, Scarf Land is really solid. Um, like, a, a Scarf that has a U-turn, like, I also like Inferno at the moment. Primarina, I don't think I can Oko him. If I was off plate, I might stay in, but yeah, I'm not off plate, I'm just Scarf. And if he switches, uh, I don't know why the fuck Ducky is ever switching into Landorus, like, ever. That play made no sense. So we're still in this area on the ladder, but people make no sense. I'm not gonna go Coco, because I don't know if he's Scarf. Um, I can go a Toxapex and go back to Landorus to just completely flex on him for no reason, but... I can also just go Scissor and click a U-turn. Um, just in case he goes Sutter Stealer, I don't want to lose momentum, and if he stays in, he can't even do that much damage to me. Even if he Z-moves, it should only do like half. Because I think uh, we saw he crit someone crit me earlier, right? I don't know if it was in this video. It only did like 70 or something crit tectonic rage. But yeah, now we get to bring in uh, Tapu Koko here, and Tasty is a bit annoying, so... Mm, I'll just U-turn again, but if he stays in, I'm in a bad spot. She is, yeah. I don't know if he's Scarf Doggy. That's he's probably gonna go Chansey. So I, I kind of want to go for the for the Z move break in the Chansey to come out. Yeah, I'm just gonna go for the Z move. If he goes Doggy, he got me good. Oh, he might also go Chomper. Yeah, I'm st I stand by the U-turn play because I don't know how this guy plays and I'm alone on ladder. Yeah, okay, exactly. I stand by my play few. 
And th thankfully I cancelled that. I'm just gonna go Scarf Lander again. That's always what I'll <laughs> nice on a free switch as we do when that we are like um, 1360. So I wanted to say we wanted to go to 1500, but it's probably gonna take too long. We're probably not gonna make 1500s because this is balanced. The games take a bit longer. But I thought yeah, we're gonna um, go for 1400 then. Mm, we don't know if he's HP fire. I thought I'm gonna go Scissor. I have a spit of packs which should wall him. If he's physical with off quick, it's gonna hurt. But I think he's special, exactly. And he freezes me, but we have this nice move called Scald. But yeah, I would have loved to go for T spike there, so the freeze is a bit annoying. And he does have Earthquake, so let's see if we can get a um, burn on him. We do not get a burn, so I'm gonna be forced to switch. He's probably gonna predict that. If he's HP fire, that's. Uh, I think Yurm is my best play. Yeah, someone ringed in, in the back. Someone else has to, like, go. Get the door, I'm not gonna go down. Yeah, I wanted to go like scissor, but just in case he had HP fire. Um he might go chancy, but he doesn't know my set. If I'm physical chancy is a bad play. He goes Primarina. Yeah, like if I was like life up with fusion bolt, this wasn't even the play. So he's lefty if he's like bulky Primarina. Um So I don't think he's psychic then, so I'll go Pex once and then I'll pivot into Scissor. Um just to scout for Um actually I pivot into Mew here. Okay, okay, I should have gone scissor, man. I didn't think about what else he could switch into. I was just thinking about scouting for psychic there. But yeah, this should be... Mm -mm. I'm just gonna wisp here because... I think he can't do it, Kiyomi. Mew is like the re relatively bulky, so I can just root spam now. And if the hail runs out... He can't hit blizzards forever if hail runs out. And blizzard only has... Yeah, uh, blizzard only has 5 more BP. What am I saying? Yeah, I can easily stall this out. So it is looking like a win too, but yeah, like I said, we're like relatively low on the ladder, so this doesn't really count for anything. Oh, he can still freeze me, so I shouldn't speak too soon. Um, he's also doing a, some damage to me, so like it's not like I'm healing that much. Like he's doing a bit more than I'm healing. Is what I meant. It's getting dark outside. Hopefully, I don't get like mosquitoes in here because I have my window open at the moment. I had like I have like the light off, but like um. Like, I have my main light off, but my laptop is still on that I'm recording with. So he's giga draining me now. This is fine. I can get up my rocks here. If he hits a blizzard, I die, actually, but... That's fine. Like, I don't really need my Mew for anything in particular. But now he's getting hurt back all his health. It's a bit annoying, for sure. He does miss a blizzard. Um, so at this point, he's not gonna go for HP fire on this turn. Or Pex also walls him. Let's just go to Pex and get up a T-Spike. Um, yeah, let's just get up a T-Spike. If he crits me, that's gonna be unfortunate. Because it helps with, like, everything. He might be Respiro right now, like Rest Talk or some, something like that. But, like, T-Spike just helps with Chansey and Garchomp, so I take that every... Like, that's just nice to have. Okay, no crit, and now I go... Uh, Scissor here. Like, if he has HP fire and he preserved it until now, and he goes for it on this specific turn, this guy's a goat. Um, I should be faster, so I can just U-turn here. So if he says then we get a kill, and if he switches we get momentum, and... I can just go on my type of Koku here, and I can just click the Z-move now, I think. Oh, regular Wild Charge. I'm gonna click regular Wild Charge, just in case he goes hard guard jump, I don't wanna waste my Z-move. The Z-move is just nice to keep. And if he's fist enough, he might live this, but yeah, he just dies. And yeah, see, we don't take that much recoil, that's fine. And we still have our Zemo now to blow the chance here. It's probably ch uh, Scarf Chomp. Um, this looks like the team that Zemrog used in a life, but he changed like two months. He put on a chance. So this guy just dips. We're gonna get another one. Team is performing really well, but yeah. Not really high in the ladder, so what does it really matter? Does it, what does it like really mean? Mm mm mm. Okay, this guy has his own cure, which is actually a threat if it's HP fire. Um, he might leave with Fervor Thorn. Oh yeah, I didn't even talk about the HP fire attack yet. I'll leave with the cure here. We got the HP fire attack if he leads with his Pharaoh. He leads with Gengar. Okay, now I wish I just would have put Malandrus. Because <laughs> Gengar is really annoying if he's like... Specs, Focus, Blast. He's probably just gonna click Shadow Ball. I'm gonna go Pex here, but if he gets a Spadef Drop, it's gonna be bad. 
Okay, he goes Feral Sun. So if I've been better, would have been really nice damage. Mm, okay, this is really annoying. He's gonna go for Roxy, I'm gonna go my Kiron, but the thing is He would he, he would scout for the sub zero slammer here, but I can't I can't go for anything else than other than HP5 because if he stays into Jarbomb, yeah, I have to go for HP5 to do a lot of damage to him. Because it has to be worth it that I take all this damage. But for some reason he leech shears. Oh yeah, a lot of Ferrothons I didn't this is another reason I ran into this. A lot of Ferrothons don't even carry Jarbomb, they carry Leech Seed um Spikes slash rocks and then either a power whip or knockoff. Uh, power whip and knockoff is what I meant. Like, they don't really carry that um, gerbil that often, but then now he should. If he has protect, he goes for that. Otherwise, he's gonna go into Tyranita slash Tabofini. Um, so, I think just go Scissor here. Just going Scissor is a good play. If he stays in DJs again, it's a really good play on his part. He goes into Tita. This could still be a Mega with Fire Punch, so maybe this wasn't the best play. Oh, fuck, I didn't think long term. Hmm. Probably, yeah, I should have just gone to Landorus, man. Now I'm gonna go hard land, though. Like, I predicted the scissors, the, the Tita, but then I just remembered, oh, these carry Ice Punch if they're Mega, so like, nah, nah, I'm not stinging. So we can just u turn here. If he goes Feral, we take Unnecessary Chip, but yeah, we don't want to let the cure him in for free. Even though Off Quick might have to it killed him, probably. Oh, probably would have, yeah. So I can go Scissor and Bullet Punch. Because. No, he's probably gonna switch. But if he's HP fire, I might just die. The yeah, Albi has fire punch. I don't think this is HP fire. I think this is just Z move, Kiram. So I'll just defog here. And we get that play correct. So there goes Landro. Hmm, I thought he was Z move, Kiram. This might also be Z move, Landro. Now that I look at it, I'm not sure anymore. Hmm. This is tough. If he goes for Z move, he messes us low and messes us important. So, what's my play? No one off quakes here, so I think I can go hard Coco. Like, if he off quakes here, that's just. I don't agree with that play. Yeah, he goes for, goes for rocks. Yeah, I was expecting either rocks or a Z move. So, now that we see rocks. Hmm. You're gonna U turn out. He's, he might, yeah, like he might think that I was Specs HP. If that's the only way I can Oko him, so he should scout for that. That's a good play on him. Um, I'm obviously a bit lucky there. Like, he could have just stayed in. Not expecting me to be Specs. Like, I'm obviously not Specs. But yeah, I, th I think that's a good play on him. Scouting for potential Specs. But yeah, we will just go to this. And. Yeah, I don't really lose anything by U turning. Or from U turning again. Because if I off quick here and he goes Landris, that's a bit annoying. The only annoying thing about Uton is that I take Iron Bulb's damage from his Feral, but I don't necessarily need my Landris healthy for anything. It's just nice to, like, have the speed control. Um, be able to outspeed Gengar. Yeah, exactly. That's why I didn't want to off quick. So we see if he's Helmet now. If we do see his Helmet. So this is information, so now we know it has to be Z move QM or Gengar. Um, this doesn't just like Specs or Scarf. And yeah, this has to be like Scarf. Gengar is even slow as fuck. This has to be Z move then, I think. Um, Unless he doesn't run a Z-move, so I can go Scissor and, uh... Probably have to Roost here. I kinda wanna default, but just in case he off-quakes, I'm gonna Roost first. You could go Feral on here to get, like, Leftovers back and then be annoying with Leech Sheet and all that. Yeah, I wanna default so bad, but it's just not worth it, in case he 2 it kills with off-quake. Um, might be a roll, like, I'm not sure. Like, this is, like, heavily defensive, so I probably would've, yeah, could've defaulted. Hmm. This is annoying because now Ferrothorn is getting healthy, but it's fine. Um, uh, the rocks are too annoying to not defog and... I'll just go cure him here and click Ice Beam because I don't think he has Gerbil, just the way he has played this. And yeah, he goes for knockoff. Okay, fuck. I just told you guys earlier that these carry knockoff and that didn't even do anything about this. Um, I'll just... Go for... Hmm... Uh, pr he's probably gonna go Tapu Fini here, but I'll just go for Ice Beam. Yeah, okay, okay, I should've doubled. <laughs> it's just, on the low ladder, like... I don't really know how to predict people, because, like, they make awkward plays. Um, so he's gonna go for Nature's Madness here. So I'm gonna go Hard Coco, I don't really wanna... I don't wanna go the, possi the passive route. The passive route being, I'm um, going... 
Uh -huh. I kind of want to Z-move here, but if he goes land I look like a fool. So I'll just Roost. That's a good play. Yeah, yeah. Roost is a good play. He's not going to stay in. He's going to go Ferrothorn slash uh, Landorus. But man, losing Specs and Shimp sucks. So I'm lagging. He goes Gengar. Wow, what? Who gets Gengar on the Coco Heart? That's not a play. He predicted u turn maybe? I don't know. If he predicted u turn he could have just stayed in. The play was wild. So I'm expecting him to be Scarf with Sludge Wave. So I'm going to just go Pex here. Yeah, he just goes for Sludge Wave, crits me, and I'm expecting him to go on a top of Fini or Ferrothorn here, so I can just... I'm gonna just double out into my top of Coco here. Expecting him to go on a Fini, he goes Ferrothorn. Ah, oh, that sucks. Like, I knew he would go Ferro or Fini, but yeah, now I'm just gonna taunt him, because if he's lacking... Like, he could still power with me, but I think I don't think he's... He's either gonna Leech it or Hazard, because he wants his healthy, or he wants Hazard. Um, now I can U-turn because like I don't necessarily need my Coco at 100% and if he switches I got momentum exactly and okay now I take some helmet which helmet damage which is annoying but um yeah losing specs like I said sucks and Kyurem if I go on Mew here it just baits on the Fini man this is really annoying I think I'll just chip his top of Fini down with a now, I'm just gonna ice him because like it's obvious that he goes top of Fini, but just in case, like like I said, it's lower ladder. Yeah, the, it's still chipping a bit at this Fini. And yeah, Roost is actually really nice on Coco this matchup because we can always Roost on his top of Fini. Even though I kinda wanna attack here, I expect him to stay in oh fuck, I should have attacked. So he moonblast, that doesn't do that much. Uh, we're gonna roost again. But yeah, just getting out back is left over, so like, this game is gonna take a while. He can Shadow Ball, that's completely fine. I'm just gonna always go Pex on this, because I think it has to be Scarf, just from how his team is built. He tricks me. Okay, that's a good play on him, I didn't even think about that. Um, so I think my better play would've gone going Scissor there. That was a, that was a best play on my part, a huge misplay, actually. But yeah, I'm just gonna go Teeth back here to force him to go back into Gengar later on. Gonna go into Mew here actually, which is a nice play because um, if he goes Fini now, he will get poisoned. If he goes Gengar, he is gonna get Wisped. Actually, I can off quick keep in his Gengar. Why did you? Why would you stay in, dude? Okay, fuck. Now I have to roost. I just gave away so much momentum. Okay, now I'm getting salty. This game takes too long, I didn't make the predictions that I had to make, and now we're gonna sit here for a while. And he's getting his Ferrothorn back to full because I just made a fucking awful misplay. I thought he would not want to let this get burned, but I guess people just don't care. So we're gonna have to defog here, I guess. So the T-Spec that I got up, oh, that's not gonna do any work. Um, yeah, getting my packs crippled is awful. Like, it's really, really bad. And my brother's going wild in the background. I hope you guys can't hear it too, too much. I'm just gonna roost here. I kind of want this healthy. This is just really annoying. So what I'll do here is go Kirum. We all know he's gonna go top of Fini here, so how can we punish that? Now that his Ferrothorn is healthy again, like I played this so awful. I'm gonna double into Coco breaking his um Tabo Fini. But I let his Ferrothorn heal. I'm gonna just taunt here, expecting him to go like Ferrothorn, but he goes Tita for some reason. No one knows why Tita is ever the play there. Like, what? I guess I should just Tita. You're not playing optimal. Oh god. If he fire punches here, that puts me in a bad spot. I'm gonna go Lander here. As he does Stone Edge, and we live on 1%. Oh god, I didn't even think he would Stone Edge. Um, I'm at HP I see I try to snipe. Try to snipe his landers. And he goes top of Fini. Fuck! I'm getting mad now. I played this entire game so awful, like.
Me not having defog sucks because I can defog on top of Phenium. I'm gonna go Coco here on his taunt. I just have to outplay heavily now because I'm in such a bad position because I have misplayed heavily multiple times. He does just do that, and I think it's time to pull the trigger and go for Gigavolt Havoc. Is she no? Is she at this time? I've had enough. Yeah, this guy just kept staying in. There's just I had enough. Get the fucking Tapu Fini out of my face. We have a chance to win now. He should have never stayed in there. And in the back of my mind, I was like, if he switches here into Landers, I'm just gonna click X, and this is a bad play. But like, just from how he has played, I think I was thinking what he would stay in. So, can you turn here? This sh like I said, this should be Scarf Gang, not Scarf. This. Yeah, you already showed that he Scarf. He tricked me earlier. I didn't even pay attention if he was Scarf or Specs. This Gengar, and I don't really want to scout. Um. So I'll go Scissor here, and if he's uh, HP fire, that's really nice for him, but what can we do? Because I think I'll lose too much momentum otherwise. Mmm, it's all for Bullet Punch here. I don't think he has HP fire. I'll just defog. Oh my fucking god, I didn't even think about the Z move. Okay, we're max defense, we can eat it up. Um, I think he's gonna go Ferrothorn here, so I'm gonna Roost to make the risky prediction. As we do get it correct, okay, Landris. Yeah, I was trying to kill me with either Iron Raps or Rocky Helmet. So I played that. Um, I can't. I came back now. We're back in the game after playing awful at first. Good God, phew, he said GG. So we can end it here. <laughs> I almost uh, choked, and we reached the 1400s. Yeah, like I wanted to reach 1500s, but like, like I said, I'm not gonna go for all in this old cycle. I might go all in a lighter cycle, but I'll, I'll have to build some teams. Uh, one of the reasons why I haven't been learning is because I've been struggling with building, like I said. And I just have teams that people already know, so it's like, like if the, if people already know my team, like why would I like they know all my sets? It's just annoying. But yeah, this blunder team is really cool. I might also record with that. That he meant, when I made this with ABI, he used it in one of his videos. Mm, my boy Wedron actually has some fire, like choice specs Heatran. Like I don't really know why this Prince is a substitute because I think this team is a bit annoyed by Zapdos. So Stone Edge is probably better on this. Just that that's just what I would do. Oh. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. Nice 47 minute video. I don't know when I can upload this because my net died. It's uh, Saturday evening now. I hope my net comes back on Sunday or like if it not doesn't come back on Sunday, it comes back on Monday. It will just be really annoying. If it comes back too late. But that was really cool. The team performed well. Mm, in the last game I played too fast. I should have never let this get tricked. Um, like I made just a few misplays there, but I pretty much know what I did wrong. And yeah, I think I played fine most of the games, but it's also low ladder, so like it's not like I played super amazing. It's just like they didn't really have the greatest teams in my opinion. Thank you guys for watching. The team will be in the description. And I'll see you guys next time with more. Not sure yet what I will upload next, either subsets or ulti, probably just some ulti tryhard shit at the moment. Like, I don't really feel like using subscriber sets on the ulti ladder. Uh, yeah, Doctor signing out.